So they may live in one of the smallest New York City apartments, but that has not stopped our next guests from buying in bulk at one of their favorite places, Costco. Yes, in their book, The Joy of Costco, a treasure hunt <laughs> from A to Z. They share their obsession and what they've learned about the retailers, many stores around the world. Please welcome David and Susan Schwartz. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Thank you. I really. was looking forward to this. Uh, you both have been Costco fans for a long time. Who's been the member the longest? Oh, I, it's hard to say. We joined together in, in 2008, but we, we've been going with our parents since we were, <laughs> since we were very young. Oh, wow. um, you know, so we, 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 in fact, we were, well, it was one of the first things we discovered when we started dating is our love of Co our mutual love of Costco. That's what did hilarious. you love about Costco so much that? Oh, it it's my happy place. I mean, you walk in <laughs> seriously. You walk in, and first of all, the, the person at the front door is told, and it's, it's in their employee manual. Look the members in the eye and smile, Aww. and then you walk. So you feel welcome. You walk in. It's this huge soaring ceiling. It's a bright space. A lot of sunlights usually, and. It's highly curated, 3,800 items, that's it. So at a supermarket, you've got 40,000 items. At Walmart, 140,000 items. So when you walk into Costco, you know right away that what you're getting has been highly curated for quality, and the prices are amazing. They mark everything up no more than 14%. Wow. It's amazing. And you also never know what you're going to find there because they're rotating stuff in and out all, all the time. So it, it's always a treasure hunt. That's why we called the book a treasure hunt. Wow, it's totally an adventure then, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Well, but here's the thing. When you walk into Costco, a lot of the stuff comes in huge packs. Like, there's tons of things. But, how, but it, for those items, so how do you guys pack it all in in a Manhattan apartment? Well, we have a small extra storage unit, but if I, if I may, this is one of my favorite <laughs> items. This is, um, we brought this for you today. It's um, okay. this Kewpie salad dressing. This is a normal size. I mean, it takes a long yeah. time to go through this, but this is at Costco, and it's a reasonable price. It's a great item, and this is interesting. At one point, this had what's called a Death Star on it. On the label, it had a little asterisk on the label. Let what me know. This is going to be discontinued, <gasps> either temporarily or permanently, shortly. So I bought three or four of them to say, no, Take it off the Death Star <laughs> list, and I, it did. It's now off the Death Star list. But you do have a storage unit, then. For a all small, yes, we do, we storage do have unit. a small yeah. storage unit. But you know, when you're buying, for example, Lee and Perrin Wor Worcestershire sauce, yep. right? Instead of buying one, you buy two. But you're not buying thirty or forty. You just buy two. It's no big deal. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, you don't okay. have to buy a 50 gallon thing of mayonnaise. No. That's what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> are those, now, what, what are some of your other go to items there that you guys, that oh, you guys definitely go to Costco you for? You know, I think we, we, we love the salmon, we love the fresh food, all the fresh foods are great. Yeah. But I happen to love the hot dogs. I just love the yeah, hot dogs. Yeah, I'm a big hot dog. How do they keep them at 150, though? Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's a great story. So the reason they're still 150 is they brought the production of it in house, it vertically integrated. So now they make them themselves. So they've done everything they can to cut the cost and maintain that price. And that's what happens. People think that the hot dog and the rotisserie chicken are lost leaders. They're not. They're the same 14% markup at most. Wow. They just have brought the cost of manufacturing And that down. was an issue, wasn't it, with the, with the hot dogs? The vendor they had before wanted to go up on the price, and yep. Costco said, uh, nope. yeah, nope, can't exactly. do it. Yeah. So exactly. Now I see and now they brought, brought it in-house. Now they brought it in-house, yeah. Something else p people don't know. My hearing aids are from Costco. The test is free for anybody. You don't oh, have to wow. be a member. You just need to make an appointment. They were $1,500. I and thought I had to join you, you the Army and get them from the VA. You do have to be a member, member to, to buy. Get them. Yep. And but you've still, been to how many Costco's? About 250. 220, oh 200, uh, at least 220, maybe 200. We've lost count exactly. We're okay, one, here's one question that's been bugging me the whole time. The smallest Costco is in Juneau, Alaska? Yep. It's in Juneau, Alaska. And How do you have a small Costco in a place well, like it was, Alaska? It was, well, it was you know, there are not that many people up yeah. there. I mean, it's a, it's. I think it's a community. I think it's a community of. But if you're going to shop for the apocalypse, you got to. I mean, but, <laughs> absolutely. They, they they do buy in in bulk and they have a lot of space. But they they it was an experiment uh, that they did about I think 20 years ago where they were seeing if they could build half size Costco's. And the one that really worked was Juno, and wow. Juno really services all the little communities around there. But you know, it's very difficult to get uh, product into there because there are no roads into Juno. Mm -hmm. You have to go by ship. By ship. 
Yeah. There are no roads into the church. Well, you know, I, I bet you were very popular during the pandemic. I'm sure a lot of folks were knocking <laughs> on your door asking what you had in your storage unit. But uh, <laughs> where's, where's your next trip? Which, which is the, what's the next Costco on your bucket list? Well, not the bucket list, but tomorrow we're leaving for Seattle and we have our first in live appearance. On, oh my like, God. Oh, a nice. bookstore event, not like this live oh, on TV. For your, we're for, so excited. For the yeah, book. For the book. Um, nice. We're so excited. The University of Washington Bookstore in Seattle, which is where Costco was formed, founded. Very so we're cool. super excited about that. And then we leave, believe it or not, for the second half of our Yonkers to Yorba Linda road trip, which is the Y chapter of our book, driving from, um, we'll be driving from Denver to Yorba Linda, California. And when I say we, I mean me. David lets me do she the driving. Does. She oh, does the driving. Nice. And oh. she drove from Yonkers to Omaha last week. I have one other, I gotta okay, go ask ahead. you about, sure. my wife is half Japanese. I mean, she was born in Yokohama. There's a, there's a Costco in Zama? Yeah. Yes, Japan? there is. Yes, yes what's there is. The, what's the sampling like there? Because oh, I love fantastic. the sample at Costco. Oh, it's just fantastic. But the thing that I remember the most about Zama, I mean, there are a lot of things to remember about Zama, but Japanese, the bakeries and the Japanese warehouses are spectacular. And uh, the Japanese love Amer Western That's style awesome. baked, baked goods. And there was a cake, what was it called? <laughs> there was a spectacular <laughs> layered cake with whipped cream oh, and raspberries. Man. It's and, called and, a uh, scoop cake. Scoop cake Very nice. that, that we, had, uh. we sampled that was out of this world. Well, we're, the, we're the, so glad that you came on to share your adventure and people can, can check out your book too, The Joy of Costco. So thanks so much for being with yeah. us. Well, thank you. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you it's so much. Pleasure. It's a pleasure. I need a 61-year-old intern <laughs> to travel around with you. Let me know. I'd love to do that. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you.